In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create an asynchronous service. And what that means is what we want to do is take a long running service and move it off into its own running separate thread. So for example, what we'll be able to do with this, our application is going to simulate downloading several large files that's going to take a while. And what we want to be able to do is to allow the user to continue working in the app while the download happens in the background or on its own thread. So asynchronous means it's going to be running at the same time that the main thread is running. So for this example, we're going to start a service which would start simulating the download. And while that's going on, now before when we tried this, it locked up. But now you can see that this is continuing to run all while I'm still entering and interacting with the application. So it's running on its own separate thread and it's doing it asynchronously while I'm still working on the main thread. So for things that are going to take a long time, uh, like file downloads or other types of processing, but you still want to allow the user to be able to continue working in the app, we can create an asynchronous service. So that's what we're going to look at. Let's start by reviewing the file setup and how things are structured and how they're going to work. Now in my main XML, I have a start service button and that is going to start the simulation of downloading some large files so that we have a long running task that we can move into a separate thread. Uh, the stop service button is just left over from a previous example and we're not going to really worry about using that in this demonstration. The edit text is on screen so that we can test to see whether we're able to still continue working in our app without it crashing while the longer running service or the asynchronous service is running in the background. So the start service is set up. I'm going to go into the main Java file and the main Java file has an on-click listener so that when that button is clicked it's going to start the start service method and the start service method we're starting a new intent for the my services class so I'm going to go to the My Services Java file, and this is the on start command. So that start services button, the on click listener is going to start this on start command, which is then going to try to do this background task of executing some large bogus files to download. So now the uh, the class, it says to create class to do background task. It's an error here because I haven't created this class yet. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to create this do background task. And if you note that in here, I have the background task extends async task. So this is an inner class. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow us to extend the async task class. And that allows us to perform background executions without having to manually create threads and handlers. And we specify three generic types. So we have a URL, an integer, and a long type. And these three types specify the data type used by the different methods that we use to implement the async task class. So when I come over here and I hover over, we can see that we can add unimplemented methods. So these are the methods that are going to be required to go with our async task. So I'm going to choose to add the unimplemented methods. So here's our method do in background and URL params. So this method takes an array, which is what we're passing. We're passing in an array of URLs. And this method is executed in the background thread. And this is where you put your long running code. And then there are some other methods that we can also implement as part of the async task to do different things. So let me include some of those. So the on progress update method, right? It gets an integer. So the first part URL goes to do in background. 
integer comes to on progress update and then long will come down here to on post execute. On progress update is called from the do in background method. So as we're doing our long running task in here, we're eventually going to say, okay, we want some progress updated. So we're gonna call the on progress update. And we'll give it some information in order to display in the update here, but right now we're just dealing with some very basic syntax. So our async task, we're going to give our long running stuff in the do in background method of what we want it to do. And this is running in a separate thread in the background. But when we want to report progress on this, we have to send that progress update information to the user interface, which is a different thread, which is on our main thread. So we're going to call the on progress update to pass some information to our on progress update method that will then do something in the main user interface in order to report on the progress. And then on post execute, this method is invoked in the user interface thread when it's called in the do in background method and it has finished executing. So once this has finished doing its job in the background, then we can call the on post execute to do something back in the main user interface. So let me go in and fill this in with some code that's going to do our long running process and what we want to have happen when our progress is updated and our post execute and then we'll go through that code and, and look and see what it does. Okay, so I have some code filled in here so that we can put this whole thing together. So our main XML file starts service there's an on-click listener in our main Java file so that when it's clicked, it's going to do start service. Start service calls the on start command and the on start command is going to start with this new class do background task. And it's going to send in four URLs, which again, don't have to be any real content. It's not downloading anything for real. So our uh, inner do background task class extends the async task. And the async task has a few methods in here in order to work with things in the background. So we have the do in background, which is expecting an array, and we have an array of URLs that we're passing in. And our code in here is basically we're just getting a count of how many there are doing some looping so that we can loop through how many things were passed in and getting the number of bytes downloaded. But the important thing here is after it's gone through this, we want to publish an update to the user interface. So we're calling the publish progress method and that's going to pass in, basically this is taking the number of elements, URLs that we're passing in dividing it out so we can get a percentage of 25, 50, 75, and 100 percent. So we're passing that to publish progress. So the stuff that's happening here in our async task, our do in background, is doing just that. It's going to run this in the background. But in order to communicate with the user interface, we have to jump back to the main thread. So the way that we have to do that is through publish progress. We say publish progress, here's some information to send back to the main user interface thread. So we're passing that in here as progress. We do a log D statement so that we can see it in the console, also helpful for troubleshooting. And then we create a string of the amount of progress and percent downloaded and then we make a toast. So then while this is still going on, you know, it will come in and say 25% downloaded. It's going to continue doing this in the background and when it reaches 50, it's going to publish another progress update and so forth until the progress is ended, until everything that it needed to do in the background is finished. And then it will start the post execute. So on post execute, when it's all finished running what it needed to run in the background, it's going to do the on post execute. And in our case, again, just to display a toast, and then we stop the service. 
stop self is the equivalent of calling stop service as we had done before in a previous example. So again, this is how everything works together. We'll try running it again. So the start service is going to start simulating our large file download. I can still work with the screen. It's going to continue publishing updates as I go through, but I'm still able to continue working. Okay, when we get to 100% downloaded, then it's going to go into the on post execute and show the toast for on post execute and then everything's completed. So that's using async task which is good for doing a long running service in the background. We saw an example of a short running service maybe to do a quick update where we had the dialogue progress dialogue display.